So now my opponent's entire hand is destroyed. Which means he's left with zero cards. A lot of people ask me, Triff, why are you so beautiful? And the answer is because I play pendulums. And now for today, for one day only, you too can play pendulums. Do you want to know why? Because when you see how beautiful this deck is, I don't care what deck you guys like. What, you're Sam and you love dinos? You're a loser and love Kashdira? Doesn't matter what deck you like. Doesn't matter. You're seven years old and you like Sky Strikers? Or you're a grown ass man with big biceps and you love pendulums? After you see this video, you're gonna be a pendulum lover. This is a Zark hand loop for six. Consistent thousand percent success rate. That's right, I, I said it. With magicians, with zero bricks, or like maybe like a one, four. But today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it, okay? Get ready, because this is gonna be greatness. Before we get into this video though, I want you guys to check out down below. There's a few that deck boxes left. These are my babies, uh, part of my first release of deck boxes ever. This one's Beyond the Pendulum, red and blue for the color of my, I love it so much I got it tattooed on me. Ah, the best deck. And, this right here. This is literally what we're talking about today. This is Magicians right here. Get get yours now. I'll even kiss them. If this video gets 50 comments, I will build this deck in real life. 50 comments from one person. So get the spamming. All right, let's go. We're ready. I'm going to show you guys. This is greatness. Look, I this, I bricked. I bricked. But dude, dude, what the fuck? But what am I going to do with Gate Infinity? Why is Gate Infinity even in my deck? Don't worry. So stay tuned. You're going to want to watch this video. At the end of this video, you're going to dust off your Zark cards, assuming you even have them if you're a real Chad, and then you're going to win. So here, we're going to use the effect of Dark Worm. We're going to get ourselves a lovely Supreme King Gate Magician. Use the effect of Gate, Gate, Gate Zero. And then, that's right, we're going to special the effect of Supreme King Gate Magician. It's going to get so beautiful, I might have a tear in my eye. And then we're going to go beyond the pendulum. But the tear will not be for me. It will be for my opponent, because he's about to get destroyed. Why do you search Pen Sorcerer, Triff? Why is your brain so big, Triff? Why are you either a genius or an idiot at the same time? 100% genius or 0% idiot. And then I'm going to scale and pen summon my whole hand. Yo, you think I'm done? I'm not. Then we're going to use the effect. The special Oath Dragon. We're going to search Perform by La Bellman. <laughs> That's right, baby. Perform by La Bellman. Trip, why are you playing the Bellman? What? Is this Mr. Mosby or Esteban? No. It says, once per turn, you can increase the level of all pendulum monsters you couldn't control by one. It's the demise of your opponent, my friend. Now, stay tuned. Don't worry. I would like to open this card all the time. It's a level six. You want to know what that means? One other, that means you could bench six plates. That's what it means. So here, we're going to take Harmonizing and Oak Dragon and put them into Baron Defloor. I don't even want... I don't even need the trap card. I'm going to search a spell card. But guess what? Because we're a genius. That's why. We're going to search the spell card. We're going to activate the spell card now. I... I didn't because Dueling Book's stupid. I activated the spell, it just didn't work. And then, Gate Zero and Infinity! What are you searching? Verde's Band, right? Why don't we search Fusion Destiny? That's right. Uh, well, first, I start Pendulum Graph to search a double. I search double Iris because I Synchro Summon and Baron the Floor when it leaves the field of Synchro, I get the card. So I did it before. Dueling Book's just stupid. I'm not, I'm not this Dueling Book. And then, we're gonna use Gate Zero to search Fusion Destiny. Why Fusion Destiny, Triff? Well, maybe because DP is absolutely busted and it's the you could consistently search this any single game. So you're the only deck. You're playing the only deck in the in Yu-Gi-Oh! That aside from heroes, but that's just ass. I'm sorry to all hero lovers out there. With the exception of Ruggles, because that guy Ruggles is jacked and he's a great guy. But everyone else, heroes suck. Okay? So guess what? You could search it every time now playing Pendulum's the best deck. So we have Fusion Destiny, and on top of that, you think we're done? Not even close, my friend. Not even close. We're gonna now go up and form Paula Bell, man, to make every single pendulum that I have plus one level. Why would that matter? Why would that matter? Because we're gonna take Pen Sorcerer and Dark Worm. We're gonna turn them into none other than Artifact Durman. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, Triff. You fuck. You, you suck. You suck. I, I, no one's thinking that. Triff, why are you so beautiful? Triff, you ending on a Durandal and a Baron to floor? What the heck? You suck. Wait for it, okay? We're gonna Baron to floor pop our double iris. Okay, now that Pensork from earlier could have searched us a Celestial Magician, but I didn't want to. 
because I forgot to put it in my deck and that was where I was lacking. But I don't need it. I don't need Pengar. What do you need Pengar when you have FTK for? We're going to put DPE on the field. Remember, as well, we have Baron to floor to protect from everything. We have Baron to floor to protect. And then we're going to set everything and pass. On the standby phase, affect the soul of the Supreme Celestial. Summon out our big boss, big booty, Zark. Boom. This is the noise Zark makes when he flies over your girl. Then we're not done yet. Then we're going to use DPE to pop our own Zark. That's right. We're going to destroy our own Zark and use Zark's effect to put it in the scale. And then we're going to use Artifact Durandal's effect. Durandal. Shuffle my opponent's hand and make them draw a new hand. Well, guess what? Whenever they draw the whole hand, once per turn, when a card's uh, plural, when a card's uh, plural is added from the deck to the hand, destroy them all. So now my opponent's entire hand is destroyed, which means he's left with zero cards. Which means, oh, oh, oh my truth. Well, I'll just imperm the card, bro. Baron to four, negate. That's right. Pen best deck. And for good measures, we have pen graph too. Assuming we would have had a slight sentience as a human being and also search Celestial Magician. That's the deck. He can't play. He right now has zero cards. His, this combo, Zark Durendal, he his entire hand goes to the grave. So he has zero cards. Last time I checked, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My turn. Draw. Draw two. Thanks, Celestial. Oh. <laughs> GG. See you later. What did I say? Best deck. I'm going to show you guys the deck list. Oh, this is the only reason we won. So make sure to get your deck boxes down in the description. There's a few left, guys. There's a few left. My babies are going to be gone soon. It's the only reason you could Zark your opponent for their whole hand. This loop, this it gets rid of six cards in their hand. They have zero. You could six Omega them. This is cooler and better. They don't have a chance. They can't play Dark Ruler. It's all done in standby phase. GG. 40 cards too. Very consistent. The only cards you can say that are a brick would be Dasher and Celestial. Not Infinity because... You literally just dark room. You get dark room every single turn, no matter what. Revolution Dragon three, dark room six, Lightwing Dragon nine. So that's nine. Then you just get gate zero and infinity. Pen summon, and then after you pen summon, uh, you just uh, get fusion destiny. Like, dude, there's, it's, it's insane. It's actually really, really good. And in any format where super poly is really good, you can also search super poly. So the fact, like, these are really, really good together. So the only really bricks is just celestial and dasher. So what? I just pen summon them. I don't care. I'll win anyways. And you don't need to play hand traps because they're for losers. And going second, you side into every board wipe known to mankind. So your opponent can't actually play. And against back row, this deck obliterates back row because you search for DPE every single turn. They can't do anything to DPE because it destroys all back row decks. And you, you search a po poison and pit. You put them in scales all the time thanks to Wisdom Eye. It's extremely consistent. Supreme King Gate, Magician 3, Otter's Revolution Dragon at 3, Dark Worm at 3, 1 Light Worm. Light Worm's pretty good, but like not mandatory. 1 Pensork, 1 Astro, 1 Oaf. Double Harmo. You don't need too much. You search it all the time. Double Iris. You don't need too much. You search it all the time. Triple Wisdom. One Labelle Man. One Gate Zero. One Infinity. One Celestial. One Dasher. One Fusion Destiny. You can play more Fusion Destiny, but Dark Room searches it all the time. Triple Lightwing Dragon. Amazing card. One Soul Spring and Celestial. Foolish Double Shrine for the Dark Worms. Double Pen Call. Triple Alliance. You still play Pen Call because you could discard the Dark Worm, but you, you don't want too many. Like You don't want to Pen Call your Pen Call, so you can just Pen Call your Dark Worm. You have so many ways to it. And Duelist Alliance is Pen Call too. One Star Pen Graph. One Time Pen Graph. We play every board breaker. You could play one Regeki as well in case you want to thrust it, but you just break their board however you want anyways. Beyond, Celine, Apollo's Access. Time Star comes up big because if, if you recognize that play with Beyond Benjamin, we search Pensork. Well, you could also do another play where it's really cool. You go Time Star. Time Star, search Astrograph or search whatever you want. And then you uh, use Wisdom Eye Ma Magician Effect or you use a white, uh, King Magi Gate Magician Effect or you use Bear into Florida Pop a Scale. You protect it and you send Pensork, and then you Celine special the Pensork, and that's how you get the Labelle Man back. So it's actually really, really cool how you could get Pensork every single time. You might want to play one Celestial or one Joker for that Pen Graph play that I showed you. So I think I'm going to put in one Celestial Magician, make it 41. But I try to cut this to 40 at all costs to make it as consistent as humanly possible. That play I showed you will happen 99% of the time. It's not difficult to pull that off. The Durando play, the only thing that this would uh, like Droll and nib would hurt nib is fine because at the very least like at the very 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 least you're gonna have a pen graph dpe play 
Like it's something. It's not like you're just auto losing. If that makes sense. You just you don't you don't just auto lose. So that's the benefit. And you can you also get sold the Celestial Supreme King, Supreme King. So at least you have something to the nib. Uh, but magicians have all, is all, always not that. It's not good that good to nib. Uh, anyways, you could also just pendulum four and then make a baron and then play afterwards. But it just the end board's not that crazy. So I plan to nib every game because if they nib me. I just take it and I put it back in their hand and say my biceps bigger than your head. So I'm going to just continue playing and they typically just apologize. Konami, it's a joke. I'd actually do it. Don't ban me. But am I joking? Maybe not. Maybe so. So that's the video. Make sure to check out the amazing deck boxes down in the description below. Because if you guys purchase them, you also get amazing biceps yourselves. It's just the rule of the jungle. I don't uh, create them. I just, I do create them actually. So hope you guys enjoy the video. See you guys in the next video. Peace.